Hey guys, this is your Rocky and Girl Amber here, and we are playing a game called Mad Father. So, I've never played this game before. So, we are going to start the new game. Yeah. From what the title says, I think the father is probably a mad scientist or something. So, we are gonna find out. Let me skip through that. Father, are you in there? Father! Aya, uh, how many times have I told you not to come down here? Sorry, Father, but, um, I'm too scared to sleep in my own. Aya. Uh, don't worry, you're never alone. Your late mother is always there at your side. She's always looking for you, Aya. Uh, okay, but there's a little grandmother. Okay, now please, get to bed. Yes, Father. Good girl. Father, tomorrow's, yes, the anniversary of her death. We'll visit her grave together. Okay. Now, back to bed, please. I'll be resting too shortly. Okay. Stop. No. Ah. Help me. Help. See, I told you he's a mad scientist. Okay, that was very unsettling there. I know Father's secret. Father is a scientist. He loves research and is always locked up in the lab in the basement. And I've always heard things from that lab. Animal and human screams. Even at a young age, I knew what my father was doing. So I pretended I wasn't looking. That I didn't know or hear anything. I feigned ignorance the whole time, because I loved Father. That's not the only secret I know. When Mom and I weren't around, he and his helper. Fine sample. I shall dispose of the remaining materials myself. That can wait. Come, Maria. Doctor. She's aware of our relationship. Hmm, what does it matter? I don't believe she's fond of me. That is the problem. The girl will be 11 soon. It's a troublesome age, to be sure. Be kind to her, please. Make sure she is never harmed. She is my most precious. Okay, so he was having an affair on his wife. It's midnight. Today's the day Mom went to heaven. Mom? I can never sleep when I think about Mom. Alright, so we are... Yeah, about pet rabbit. Doll I got from father. It's so old and worn. I brought you a present, Aya. Yay, it's a doll. Thank you, father. What a pretty doll. It's almost like it's real. I'd hate to find out that was a real doll. A real human. The 
bullshit, man. Man. What should I do, man? I do love Bowser, but she scares me. She's always looking at me with those eyes. I hate her. But I know father likes her. If father and her got married, I guess she would be my new mom. I don't want her to be my mom. I don't need my mom. There's only one mom in the world for me. Mom. Why'd you have to go? Why did I shoot that? Something fell out. What's this? Got a gem. In various places, some required in special events to get in Seer Gen Count menu. Find them all in. The room feels cold all of a sudden. I'm kind of scared I should get back to bed. Good night. intro <laughs> you sing so well are you father would you look this way give me a moment just put this here yes it's finished flower crown does it look good on me? Yes, I think it suits you well. Yay! Thank you, Father. I'm sorry I can't always do it with you. Got it. It's alright. I'm glad I could play with you today, Father. Oh my, you two are playing? Mom! Look, Father made me a flower crown. It's wonderful. It looks great on you, Aya. So you played with him all day? Yeah. We should do this again, Father. Yes, we should. Next time your mother should join in. Well, I look forward to it. <laughs> Mom? I I'm sorry. Just another fit. <laughs> Don't push yourself if you're not feeling well. Come, get some medicine for Maria. It should help you get better. No, I can get that myself. Mom, are you hurt? You're okay, right? Sorry to worry you. I'm perfectly fine. Don't look so anxious, please. I uh, your smile keeps me going best of all. If I can't see you smiling, it only makes me worry. Mom? Okay. Now, let's get back for dinner. I made hamburger steak tonight. Your favorite, Aya. Hooray! I love Mom's hamburgers. Right, Father? <laughs> of course. Your hamburgers are the best in the world to her. The intro? We were so happy then. There was Maria, but even so, the three of us were a happy family. But then Mom passed away from illness. And the happiness we had then, well, I think this one's just gonna be an intro video. <laughs> so. Ooh. Huh? That scream. Father? Something must have happened. I'll go check on Father. I have a bad feeling. Hmm? What's the sound? Is it a voice? Pink! Ugh. No! No, no! This way! 
Who's that? Come this way. Is there somebody there? Who are you? This way. Who? Stay with me. I said this way. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that? Many interesting books in this room here. Do you like books, my dear? Who are you? Now, don't be so aggressive. I'm merely a salesman. Salesman? Call me Ogre. I hope to get to know you, young lady. Is that the dude from Mizao? <laughs> but it's quite troublesome to think that corpses loiter around the house. Corpses? Those monsters back there? They're like monsters from a story. Why would monsters like that? Well, it's a curse. What you saw were the corpses of your father's test subjects. Overcome with anger, those deceased have been brought back by the power of a curse. Just take revenge on your father, of course. What? So father is in danger? I have to save him. Why is that? To achieve his desires, he has killed so many people as part of his experiments. This is his retribution. You must have realized by now your father's true nature. Yet you wish to save him? She cannot yet understand their sorrow. Father was always kind to me. He is the only father I have, and I promised him to. Okay. That's the longest intro ever. Red Eyed Stranger gave Jack the power to curse others, and Jack said, Thank you, Red Eyed Stranger, now I can get my revenge. Hey, Mom? Yes, Aya? What's Father always up to down below? It's a very difficult job. You'll understand when you're older, Aya. I want to be older soon, then. <clears throat> Aya, whatever happens, you shouldn't hate your father. Mom, what's the matter? Of course I wouldn't hate Father. I see. God, all this reading here. Mom, do you not like father? No, nothing like that. I'm just like you, Aya. I love your father so much. Phew. You can be a bit unpredictable. So let's support each other no matter what. Promise? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice. Now, back to the story. Whatever happens, I love father, so don't worry. I have to go see father. A crow? Oh, that's a safe spot now. That weird guy is gone. Here, Snowball. Snowball loves Father too, don't you? Snowball! <clears throat> Snowball, where are you? What do I do? And your legs hurt too. I'm worried. Snowball! Where'd you get to? I was so worried when you disappeared. I couldn't wrap up that wound with you, you running around. Wait, huh? Your wound's healed. Some web troublesome rabbit. Father. Oh yeah, try not to let Snowball out of your sight. Will you? The rabbit made a mess of the kitchen. I'm sorry. Snowball must have been trying to get a bite of Maria's cooking again, huh? Did you find Snowball, Father? Yes, and heal that leg wound while I was at it. Good thing Father's around, huh, Snowball? Thank you, Father. Snowball's a member of the family, treated as well as any other. Yeah. Who 
we'll see father together. Alright, so I am going to save it here after that long intro. So, if you want to see more of this, uh, you know what to do. Click the like, subscribe, leave a comment, follow on Twitter, and I will see you all in the next one. Let's rock on. Bye-bye.